On June 25, 1950, with the promise of support from Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, North Korean troops crossed the 38th parallel into South Korea, beginning the Korean War. The landing at Incheon remains one of the most celebrated strategic battles in military history. With KLO and Light the Palmito Lighthouse. MacArthur's tenacity made him a challenging role, even for Hollywood icon Liam Neeson. General MacArthur knew that the port of Incheon was severely underguarded, making it the path of least resistance to Seoul, less than 25 miles away. General MacArthur overcame strong opposition from more cautious generals who feared the unfavorable terrain would prove to be too much for the troops. This tactical victory would eventually lead to Communist China's entry into the war and a stalemate in the division of a once united Korea. The battle was a defining moment, ending a series of victories for the North. It also put the UN forces in perfect position, partially severing the supply chain between the communist forces in the north and their troops to the south. Today, one of the most peaceful places in Incheon is Freedom Park, a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Sitting atop two full city blocks with breathtaking walking trails, manicured grounds, open-air structures, and statues memorializing those who were lost. An estimated 1 million South Koreans and 200,000 North Korean civilians lost their lives during the Korean War. And over 40,000 U.S. troops. On July 27, 1953, after two years of intense negotiations, the armistice was signed, ending the conflict and re-establishing the 1945 Division of Korea at the 38th parallel that remains today. For many Americans visiting the park, it is an unexpected surprise to see a monument immortalizing one of our greatest war heroes, General MacArthur, surrounded by fragrant roses so far from home. The people of South Korea credit the UN forces and General MacArthur with transporting tens of thousands of Korean refugees on military ships, saving them from a life under communist rule. One of the most notable families to be evacuated were the parents of South Korean President Moon Jae-in. Probably the best view in the park is from the top of a two-story pagoda called the Pigeon Cage. From here, you can see the entire harbor and picture how the landing might have looked to the people of Incheon more than 70 years ago. Freedom Park is a way to honor the past and celebrate the future. It stands as a symbol of the union formed between our two countries, a bond forged through the loss of countless lives. We are united forever by the perseverance of the Korean people and the determination of General MacArthur, whose plan changed the course of the entire war.